Hi, my name is Liz Piccolar and I'm the designer of Drum Chart Builder and the author of the book, How to Write a Fast and Easy Drum Chart. Today, I'm very excited. I'm going to show you how to chart the song 25 or 6 to 4, played by Walfredo Reyes Jr. and written by the band Chicago. I am also excited to announce that I will be doing a clinic with Walfredo on May 24th in Lexington, Kentucky at Nitrosonic Studios. Now let's get started. I've opened up my account in Drum Chart Builder and I'm going to choose the song that I'm going to chart. I'm going to chart this one and I've edited a little bit already so we won't have to do the whole song. Choose here this icon and you have edit this, the selected item. So there's the chart. As you can see, I've, I've been working on it. I'm going to do the beginning for you. You can see how I do it. So you can see at the top of the page, I put the chart name and I put the artist name. Over here is how the music starts. Over here is your time signature, tempo, and your feel. So I'm going to play the song a little bit so we can, you can see how I did what I did. How does the song start? It starts with a guitar, so I chose guitar. Time signature is 4-4. Four, four. Tempo is 144. The feel, the straight feel, with a pop genre. So now I've got exactly what I need to know. I need to know the time signature, my tempo, and my feel, and who starts. So now I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to do the intro and we know that it starts with the guitar so we're going to have to count that out. And you can see with the quick drop down menus I'm able to do that. Here I'll be able to count all the measures and down here I put in drum instruction, anything that I need to know to, to count out this song. So let's go back and let's listen to the intro and count how many measures the guitar is playing. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five. Three, four, two, two, three, four. All right, so you can see now, Walfredo comes in on the fourth measure. So I need to put that in because it's very signature for the song. So he's coming in on the fourth measure. So I can put the number three in there. And then I like to use the insert figure. So you can insert any kind of figures that you need down in the drum instruction. And then I put a line because it's three measures and on the fourth measure, he does a drum fill. And the drum fill is notated like this. Now I'm not really saying what I'm gonna use to play it, but I just know what the, what the notation is. I can make up any fill I want, but play it with this notation. So now I know exactly how the song starts, how many measures to count before I come in. I've got my time signature, my tempo, and my feel. So let's continue and let's count out the rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Six, two, three, four. Seven, two, three, four. Eight, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, one, first, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four. 2, 3, 4, 12, 2, 3, 4, 13, 2, 3, 4, 14, 2, 3, 4, 15, 2, 3, 4, 16. Now, of course, it's halftime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 6, 2. Now, back to regular time, full time, build into intro. So you can see how I've counted it out, and I also listen for phrasing. That's why I've done what I've done. Over here in this intro here, he does an accent, 
And the reason why I've, I've broken it like this is because in this intro, the horns start. So that gives me an idea exactly where I am at. When the horns come in, I am here. He also does a drum fill. So let's take a quick listen to that. Four, one, two, that. Okay, what's happening in that is that it's all part of this. He does five measures, and he does a drum fill on the sixth measure. So I'm going to do the insert figure, and I'm going to choose from my notes library this line, and because I'm going to break this area into, into parts. Here's where he does the drum fill, and he's playing while he's doing it. So I'm going to do two slashes, and then put in the notation that he just played. And that's the notation. And played on the snare put another line, because that's five plus one measure, you need to equal eight. So I'm gonna put a two here, which means to go back to playing time again. Um, this is what the way that I notate, and I'm gonna make them small so they fit a little bit better, because this works for me. Um, anybody can do anything that they want. You can put anything here, you can type into it. If you need to, you can add notation to it. Whatever works for you, you write in. So that's how I started to write the chart really quick. For the patterns, I put the patterns at the bottom. So there's a place to put patterns at the bottom. He's basically playing this pattern in a lot of the songs. So I notate this, but you can do variations. Here's the halftime feel. I put that in so I'd know exactly what to do. You can see in some of these other parts, I've been putting notation in because of certain fills that he did. And here I've got a quarter note triplet that I notated. Another halftime fill. This is, this is almost like exactly this part. And then the bridge is a little bit different. So you can see how I notated this. So this is just a quick, quick version of the kind of chart that he's playing. So thanks for listening. And we'll see you in Kentucky.